Ukraine President Volodymyr Zelensky speaking with President Biden in a joint session of Congress yesterday. Kayla Tausche joins us right now with the big takeaways. Kayla, good morning. Good morning, Becky. In his first trip outside Ukraine since the war began, President Volodymyr Zelensky appealed to the Biden administration, members of Congress, and the American people that the war continues, but its second year, he says, will be a turning point. Our two nations are allies in this battle. And next year will be a turning point. I know it, the point when Ukrainian courage and American resolve must guarantee the future of our common freedom, the freedom of people who stand for their values. Zelensky still donning military sweats after visiting the front lines the day prior, presenting a Ukrainian flag to the vice president and House Speaker, and praising the American military might that has helped his army succeed. But he said with some levity, they need more. We have artillery. Yes. Thank you. We have it. Is it enough? Honestly, not really. <laughs> But several elements of assistance still remain off the table, according to senior administration officials and lawmakers. That includes fighter jets, longer range missiles that could hit inside Russia, and more lethal drones still seen as having the potential to widen the war. Zelensky's impassioned plea for more aid comes as some House Republicans grow skeptical of providing that aid set to top $100 billion this week. Zelensky's message was, this is not charity. Becky.